Okay, so this is a quick issue that was discovered uh, with this uh, injector tester. And the fact is um, that with smaller injectors, like my 950s here, uh, you can actually take the, um, tri I just got a AAA battery, and uh, you can activate this injector, you know, no pressure. It, in it activates, and you can plug this in to the injector tester, or the injector cleaner, whatever you want to call this thing. Plug this on, put your bracket on, and then when you do this, it still activates. You can apply pressure to the 950s, hit the button, and it activates, so it works. With the 1650s, it, it doesn't go so smooth. So we'll put the 1650s on, and then we'll put our uh, bracket on to hold that. And then what you'll notice is, is there's no pressure on it right now. The valve is off, right? So there's no pressure. You can hook this up, and it activates the injector. Okay, so it works, right? Now you take you take that and uh, apply pressure to it. Turn the handle on. Now it's got pressure. It will not open. Pushing the button, and the injector will not open with a AAA battery. The way they work is a four volt spike is what turn is what opens the injector. And then the four volt spike opens it and a one volt constant keeps it open. So we're gonna have to come up with something different uh, to, to open these sixteen fifties for cleaning. Okay, so as you saw the uh the triple A battery uh it wouldn't it wouldn't open the sixteen fifties while they were under pressure. Um so I ended up tying in two triple A's to this same harness and um it, it didn't work. It opened the nine fifties fine but then it stopped opening the 950, so I quit using it. Uh, and when I tested voltage, it only tested out to be the same amount of voltage. Uh, so I don't know if it, neither one of them was hooked up or only it was running off only one. I'm not sure, but what I ended up doing was I uh, got some got some double A's, family dollar family dollar double A's at that, and they measure out. Uh, these are measuring out around one 1.4, 1.42, and this is measuring out about 1.68 volts so it's it's got a little bit more kick to it and um it's just a single double a uh, i had triple a's around the house so that's what i used and i just took a, a single uh double a and hooked it up and you can see that it opens the 1650 fine off pressure and then when you put the 1650 on the uh cleaner don't forget your bracket you put that bracket on there, you apply pressure, and then works like a charm. So just make sure uh, just make sure you use a double A, not a triple A. So I'm just going to show you this here. This seal uh, actually ripped. You can see it's about half the thickness it used to be, and uh, it will not work, of course. All right, and uh, the bottom one wasn't in too good a shape either. Okay. It's uh, flaking up right there pretty bad. So they're bad bad seals, right? What I've done is I've gone through uh, my little O-ring box right here. And, uh, ta -da, and I found that this top one up here makes a pretty good replacement. It's number 11, by the way. 1 16th width, 5 16th inside diameter, and 7 16th outside diameter. All right, and, and I found that, that that one, this one here, Makes a pretty good replacement. Fits pretty, you know, kind of not too snug, but all right. And it goes right around the bottom of that pretty good. Now I had some other ones over on the wall, right there. Number 78. Number 78 is is a really fat O-ring, and kind of mimics this green, the top O-ring. So I took the number 78, put it over top, and as you can see, that makes a pretty good, nice seal. And um, if you go over here to the injector cleaner now, and you plug this in, uh, like I said, I went one step higher than 2764, so I think it's 7 sixteenths. And uh, that number 78, it, take, it takes a good little twist, and it slides right in there. So we got that in there, and I just, I'm just hooking this back up to show you um, that, that it makes a really good seal. This is just for uh, the injector cleaner. It's just a way 
to have a set of seals that'll work that will not cost you know that will not cost you anything as far as cleaning your injectors. A couple bucks for the O-rings. Got the pressure already hooked up. Turn the line on. Okay, nothing leaking. Nothing at all leaking. See, it's. But there is nothing leaking out from around there. Even grab my soapy water for good measure. And there is nothing leaking out, okay? Uh, you can use this uh, set of O-rings and uh, use that instead of your actual seals um, so that you won't ruin them in the process. If, if you don't have enough, you can just roll these off and use them for your next injector. I just thought I'd share that with y'all.